This is the Lindstrom record. The record calculator was designed by Hugo Quart from Nordenham in 1913 or so. He probably made the first few uh, record calculators himself in his own company, but pretty soon he found a, a manufacturer, H. Ullmann, to uh, take on the uh, production and production was moved to Berlin. These early machines were distributed by Bernhard Baer and Co. We think about seven or eight hundred of those were uh, made over the first few years. That is until Bernhard Baer died in 1917. It's unclear what happened after that for the next few years, but in 1921 Manufacturing was taken over by Lindström. Uh, Lindström was a company that was specialised mostly in uh, phonographs, so record players essentially, and dictation machines. And they had a big company in Berlin. Uh, that was also a recording studio uh, to make the, the records for their record playing machines. Uh, they took on the manufacturing of this machine and yeah, probably made another 5,000 or so of uh, these. Hugo Kort stayed with Lindstrom for only for about a year or so and then left to uh, help Ernst Kurt with his calculator, the Kurt calculator. I have a video about that machine as well. It stayed in production until about 1929. After that, uh, maybe uh, the last few were sold the next year or two, but that was that. The calculator was a little bit ahead of its time when it was made in 1913. It is one of the first calculators to have a keyboard. Up until that time, adding machines had keyboards, but full function calculators tended to be either pinwheel machines with input pins or uh, arithmo arithmometer type machines which had input sliders. And around the same time, uh, there was the uh, X times X by Seidel and Naumann. And about a year later, the Archimedes also had uh, a keyboard. But yeah, this was one of the first as well. In order to implement the keyboard, the whole mechanism was reorganized. The step drums were now not on axles that are horizontal, but they're vertical at the rear of the machine. And that allowed the keyboard to simply use a, a big lever to move the little gears up and down the stepped drums. And this arrangement also uh, allowed the uh, axles to be a little bit closer together because there was a bit more room to put uh, to stagger the step drums at different heights. Another first for this machine is that it had the crank on the front. Not just directly at the front, but more than that, it was angled. It's the first machine to have it at an ergonomic angle like this. Let me open the back to show you the mechanism.
Here you can see the latch that prevents the crank from turning the wrong way. So, that was the Lindstrom Record Calculator. Thank you for watching.